So this next speaker we saw on stage here, he is an improv master. He's literally been touring the world, doing improv, training, training locally, and we asked him to wrap up the show. So he's gonna kind of do a summary with a prompt. And Elle's prize, if Elle is still here. Elle? Yeah. She gets to choose the prompt. Oh, come up here. Yeah, come on, come on up. up. And so... Yeah, so, so let's be clear that this is not like any of the Ignite Talks you've seen tonight. Uh, Larry, who I'm going to invite on stage in a second, has not seen any of these slides. He hasn't been to any of the rehearsals. He doesn't know what any of the talks have been about tonight. And unlike all the other speakers who have worked on their slides, practiced, or at least told us they did, uh, they obviously did. All right. And Larry, you can come on up here, too. Larry's back here. Larry, come on out. Oh, OK. Woo. So Larry Dorsey, Junior. So the, so the way this is going to work, L, is we are going to ask. This is your special prize. What is a philosophical question that hasn't been answered to the crowd? And you get to pick. Your favorite answer. So the question to all of you is, what is a philosophical question that hasn't been answered? Why are we here? OK. Chocolate or vanilla? <laughs> Wait, I heard one back here. OK. <laughs> What's the point? Couldn't hear that. <laughs> what does a worm do that doesn't get pregnant? I think that one just lives. <laughs> Ooh, is consciousness embodied or not? What? Bigs as bets. Pigs. Pigs oh. as pets. Thank you. Pigs right, as what pets. Are you, what are you, Man, what are you thinking? Up here. Woman, woman on the street. What are you thinking? <laughs> It's a toss-up between chocolate and vanilla, but we're going Brian Boitano. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I'll do it. <laughs> male figure skater. I, I don't know who he is either. Right? Male figure skater. Right? Uh, yeah, male figure skater. All right, no, no. All right, let's do chocolate and, and vanilla. Fine, chocolate and vanilla wins. Chocolate, chocolate and vanilla. Okay. It's your show, guys. I mean, chocolate and vanilla? Like, okay. All right. All right. All right. You ready, Larry? <laughs> so Larry is going to give an Ignite talk about his favorite thing, chocolate and vanilla. So there's been a fight like Muhammad Ali in the Thriller in Manila, and you might have seen it in movies with Godzilla and gorillas. But actually, the real thing is not the apocalypse that we're scared of. It's whether it's vanilla or chocolate. See, right here, we're looking at an ostrich. <laughs> and be careful with eggs when you're making an omelet, because it might belong to it. See, I'm just trying to find out what is chocolate. When you make it, they said originally it is a different color. But I'm just trying to make sure that chocolate is not referring to white people or brothers. What I'm saying is we're all connected because we all know me and um, we all have the brain connection because we're not lonely. See, <laughs> so you might be skydiving, high-fiving, or connecting to Wi-Fi in, and you can look it up on the internet and you will never find the correct answer because it's all up to your inner sense. It might be your scent or your taste buds that what you might find out what you love. And I might have to point because what's the point? And after I eat ice cream, I smoke a joint. See, um, <laughs> see, <laughs> you can hit me up for the answer and call me and I'll give you a long explanation like Salvador Dali as I am trying to get connected to ex machina and go into a dream state like hypnogagia. See, <laughs> 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 so <laughs> from, from Lemony Snicket to Jiminy Cricket, that question has been an answer deep in science fiction. See, we're trying to install solar panels for the polar animals, for octopuses, and people who shoot Roman candles. <laughs> so 
When you go in and you start feeling your stomach throbbing and you're either at Ben or Jerry's or maybe Baskin Robbins, I'm going to let you know how my mind goes into story mode because I don't pick chocolate or vanilla. I pick Oreo. <laughs> See, as I embark on it, talk about the chocolate and even do this with catharsis, I'm concerned about all these goat carcasses. <laughs> See, even if we go to Mars, if we go to the stars, if we're eating chocolate bars or vanilla um, lard or something, that <laughs> something that's delicious, like Snickle Fritz or something ridiculous, just know that when you have a chocolate vanilla synthesis, you could get with this. <laughs> See, <laughs> I'm just trying to let you know on this platform how it's out of the norm, like a goat on a horse or a camel in a sandstorm, that you could be a dumpling and transform. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, because I don't want to cause any confusion when it's chocolate and vanilla I tend to be um, a little, what's that word called? Um, I don't know, but it has to do with institutions. <laughs> See, um, I'm just trying to make sure that, like Jane said with immunologists, that in the future, inside of all different types of colleges where knowledges and accomplishments are passed around, that we could vivivanka it, or vishivanka it. Ooh, I'm on top of it because we're bringing it back to vanilla and chocolate. <laughs> yes, this is multiple things happening, <laughs> me trying to put it up while I'm rapping it. Yes, and it is so magic when I start doing it sporadic, but um, I'm gonna tell you something that's never been told. In life, there's a lot of problems and it may be a rocky road. And you may go into the Antarctic and feel snow drop, like the time and wrinkle. Or you may go in and ask for gummy bears and sprinkles. But no matter what you do when you go in these stores, remember preference or whatever you choose in your identity, the choice is yours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, <laughs> so I've been around the world, and like flatworms, it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. But remember, when it comes to chocolate and vanilla, in relationships, it's called a swirl. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> I'm gonna end it like this. I will we'll blow you a kiss and see that this cosmic world is something that we've never really uncovered or discovered, but make sure that an ostrich is not your lover <laughs> and that it's not like Terminator or the Predator with Danny Glover. <laughs> I'm gonna say this, the way to get world peace, like my beautiful sister said, is understanding that we're all connected more than just our head. And I don't know where to end and I don't know where to start, but I'm gonna make sure that I connect with all of you from the bottom of my heart. Chocolate and vanilla. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> that was really awesome. That was hard. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Hey, hey there. Thanks for watching. I'm Brady. And I'm Firein. And we are the people behind Ignite Talks HQ. The speaker you just watched was in a race against time. 
Every Ignite Talk is 20 slides, and the slides change every 15 seconds, whether you're ready or not, so you've got to keep up. It's out of control. Could you do this? <laughs> we think so. Follow us in the usual places to learn more about how you can give a talk. And don't forget to subscribe for more Speedy Talks.